that is by far the baddest Ari we've ever built. Listen, no, nothing against Ari's <clears throat> that we've built. Henry went that extra mile. Henry said, not only build me the highest ho horsepower stock engine car you built, but fucking cosmetically. So this was a non-plus car when we got it. Meaning it was, a, it was just a steel rotor car. We went with the carbon ceramic on all four corners, upgraded the front caliper to a plus model caliper as well. Uh, we did the wider carbon uh, air ducts on the side, a lip kit. It has a center exit uh, exhaust. Uh, this mesh piece was made by Bobby over at Sadistic for us. Um, then we made the center exit exhaust system from 1016 industry diffuser. So we had to get an, a plus wing. Uh, but yeah, this is the bad. It has our billet manifold, the whole nine. But this is, this is a, so this one made 1280 on our dyno. By the way, he's thinking about selling it. So if you interested, slide in our DMs and we'll leave, we'll make that happen. But please don't come at us with some stupid ridiculous. Oh, this car has big money in it. I mean, you probably got 100 G's in it alone, you know, so. Yeah, really excited. And he's been driving this thing around and enjoying it. He brought it back for us to add some other little stuff. When you guys know Fleming's car, he's like the king of our Instagram and YouTube lately. Yo! Hi. Dime it up, Bobby. So Fleming's like, we're, I'm vlogging right now, and since we know you don't like to be yeah. behind cameras, I just put you on speakerphone because I was literally just talking about your car to everybody. But yeah, this is Fleming, by the way. You'll never fucking see Fleming. Fleming's like, it's like the Matrix. You just don't know where he's at. Right, Fleming? I'm just the janitor. He's just the janitor. So, hey, that's a good hint. If you, ever, if you ever see a guy hanging out with me and you ask him what he does and he says he's the janitor, that's Fleming. Fleming's phenomenal, dude. Customer that's probably became one of a close friend of mine and I look up to him. He's a, he's a great mentor. The guy gives phenomenal advice. He's done very well and such a good, good, good guy. We hang out and we bought trailers. We bought these aluminum trailers. Alonzo will show you there. Uh, pretty, pretty dope trailers. Uh, you know, drive them on ramps, they lower down. You'll see there. So I, I pushed Fleming. I was like, yo, you need a trailer too. He's like, what the hell do I need a trailer for? He's got this crazy big stacker. Like, when we roll around town, we can't just be rolling around in a big toter everywhere. So we got a two for one special. So I don't even know how to load a car on a trailer, so he's gonna come over and teach me tomorrow. Yeah, it might, funny enough. So that's what happens usually you buy a car and you'll keep, you plan on keeping it for like a, a year or so. Um, I had a GTR before this, so I kept it for maybe like four months, sold it, so uh, yeah. I mean, I love the car, I just got it about, what, a month ago? About a month back ago, so um, if you're interested, just, just let me know. Tom is just hit us up, but not to or, or, offer. Yeah, or hit these guys up. <laughs> we'll take care of it. Yeah. Photo tips, uh, I use a Canon, because only uh, faggots use Sony, like Alonzo. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm some quick photos right now. What I got so far. Pretty dope. I see the DMs a lot. What do you use? This is exactly what I use. Nothing special, just a Mark IV and a 35 millimeter. All right, my settings. I I shoot an auto. Auto. I shoot an auto because only uh, fools who don't know how to adjust their exposure shoot in manual. Wait, what? And the auto. It's just much easier. Shooting auto. Ah, it was man. Ah! <laughs> hey, it was man. Hey, and you wonder why the photos don't get done? Just push an auto picture and it's good to go, bro. Hell nah. You got that rooster uh, freaking haircut. Look at that. Look at that. Bring him out. The other fool. Photoshop me. Look all buff. I'll Photoshop you looking tall. <laughs> nah, this is the Hennessy C8 vent right here. Collab with 316. Come here, Larry. Come here. <laughs> Larry's like Spaniard and never Native American. I'm. Look at this guy walking in control, though. Don't you guys think these motherfuckers look alike? No. Hell no. Better than he does. <laughs> I mean, at least I don't know fuck up that too, though. <laughs> 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 oh, bro, your chest is getting puffy, buddy. Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> One day, Johnny's gonna get beat up. Alright. What's up? Low key, I didn't even sleep last night. I woke up like at 3 in the morning, like, we're going racing. I haven't done 
activities like this in a long time. Been so focused with the work that I really go out to have fun. You know, our roots come from racing, so. It's exciting because what's it gonna make us do is develop our package and push it. You know, push the drag race stuff. Um, two things that I'm after. So, because it's in Mexico, we do not have a, ooh, which reminds me. I gotta get my draggy. Uh, don't have an actual strip, but we have a draggy, so. I'm after an 8.50 and a quarter mile, and I'm after a 3.20, 60 to 130. My buddies at UGR go 3.20s on stock engine, stock everything. So if they could do it, I could do it. The only difference is they got bigger balls, so they'll run higher boost levels than I will. But in the moment, you guess you never know what happens. For now, we're waiting for Fleming. So Fleming and I both got each one of these trailers, and the downfall is that I don't know how to strap that motherfucker down. So Fleming's on his way here to teach me how to strap this thing down. For now, we enjoy some drop -down. And we get ready for a five hour road trip. Cause you know what? I know that everybody keeps asking for content and I'm really, really gonna push to get content for you guys. So doing these kind of activities, doing things on the weekends to be able to provide good content for you guys and show you more of what we do, it's gonna be a uh, necessity. Cause clearly Monday through Friday, eight to five, we can only do so much, right Johnny? That's right. That's right, that's right. <laughs> How you doing today, Johnny? Pretty good, man. Yeah, hey, let me hold the camera. Let's talk about you for a second. Am I in focus? You're in focus. Fleming's here. Fleming is here. Sick ass. Man. Driving this slow ass Ferrari. I always tease him. When he drives this Ferrari, he wears his polo shirts. Worst case scenario. So something comes undone. So if you were to have this thing like this, right? Yeah. And it's tight. Right. That looks logical. Right. But if this comes loose, the likelihood this is going to fall out a lot easier. Right. Then it's this laid like that. Understood. So you always try to keep them. Right. For Murphy's Law scenario. Murphy Law scenario. And then on these straps, unlike trying to tie down something normal, you're pulling straight down. I saw that the dude yesterday had one of those things in the middle. I know. I'll show you. Oh, you mean one of these? Yeah. Whatever. Oh. I'll let you do your thing. I don't know. So, little guy. Out. So, I need to put ethanol in this thing. I need to fill that thing up. We need a laptop. Just in case we need a fast transmission. Let's go racing. I'm doing this for you guys, by the way, because I'd rather be at home hanging out my kids. I'm ready to go do some work out there. Um, so, we're bringing two cars out. Uh, we got the Lambo, it's, it's kind of fast, and we got the Mustang. It's really ugly, but we're hoping it gets down the, down the street and does some work as well. So I'm excited. It's my first shootout. We're bringing two cars, so representing SoCal, Sheepy Race. We all right? We good? Give me some, look at this, pump gas. Pump, pump, pump gas. Oh, I gotta shoot. wear a mask? Fuck, oh, I don't have a mask. I thought the mask wool went away. Really, macaroni and cheese? Oh, yeah, I go to, I go to oh, Chick-fil-A and macaroni and cheese too. Oh. What is this though? Mashed potatoes or some shit? There's mashed potatoes and nothing else. Gravy? What the fuck is this? Thanksgiving? It's exciting, you know? Like, yeah. make memories and shit, you know? And you always just work all the time. And you make memories. I need to take my own fucking advice and make some memories with my family, take them places. I'm about no, to cross no, the border. No, definitely, definitely. It's something I'll have to deal with him personally. We're gonna go through to, We're gonna go down. If anything. Um, We're in Arizona. Yeah, Josh We're gonna cross is down to, uh, to Chew. Uh, we got my boy uh, Cactus Jack right here. Cactus Jack. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean uh, <laughs> where did that even come yeah. from? <laughs> hold on, hold on. You know what he was doing back there? Googling names. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what you do. Uh, you Google <laughs> talk, huh? Hey, I mean, it's Cinnamon Jack. Cinnamon from Jack. From Gulus? You know that tall ass freaking bone? Looking as right, stick looking right nigga. <laughs> that fool got you, dog. Yo, chicken. I still don't even know what you're talking about. Hey, hey, bro, bro, bro. Look him up, look him up. Yeah. Th that nigga right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to know is where the fuck you found that out. Hey, well, you Google a lot of shit. Know you. <laughs> we still got three hours to go, and I'm already fucking over this shit. Two hours. I'm asleep. I'm well energized oh, when I drive. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Who's fucking man is this? Big oh. My photographer's eye. 
I think she's saying we look like a bunch of scumbags. Uh, status of our trip, two hours and three minutes left. So far we got four survivors and we got one, one man down. One man down so far. Sleeping back here. I woke up and we're in the middle of nowhere. What? Yeah. I was with no gas. Oh yeah, you're stressing me out about that. <laughs> what kind of fucking driver are you? Yeah. Hey, you know what the funny thing is? We stopped and got fucking ice cream at a gas station. You know? <laughs> <laughs> a little ginger. Wow. There you go, chicken. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, bro, bro. You're in Arizona, what did I expect? We're out here in the desert checking out this Lamborghini Huracan. What's your favorite car? Um, My favorite car is a 1970 Chevelle SS. Mm -hmm. My car is a Lamborghini and the same as this one, and I already have two toys of it. And I made a trailer to use it. I made one trailer out of Legos. Hey, good job, guys. We're in uh, <coughs> Bayesa, Chihuahua, Mexico. <laughs> Don't mind that sign right there. <laughs> The problem with coming out and doing these kind of activities is kind of like an educated guess as far as conditions go, right? Like, this car is make or break gear, second gear, so. If I hit it too hard in a second, it's gonna blow the tire off. Well, we here. Car's unloaded. Easier when you draw, pay attention to what you draw so you, you guys. Wait, where are the 500? How many 7 and 10? We're the 500? We're drawing. We do 500. Wait, yeah. so where, where's that camera? First round? First round, let's roll. Oh my god. Ryan! Hey, I'm gonna go put a tune up in it. I'll see you later. Hey, we get we get a hundred dollar finder's fee. <laughs> wow, well, uh, we're racing Asun. Asun's an old school DSM. It's a fast fucking car. Really fast car. He's a long time friend of mine. Back 12 years ago when we were street racing, we hung out in the same crew. He continued progressing the car, racing the car. It's a fast car. So, and it's just like old school friends just talking. Shit. They're like, yo, call out Asun. So we did, and they got all worked up. and So, whatever. Huh? I'm Mexican, so we're making a drag race. <laughs> you got a Mexican builder, it's motherfucking drag racing. I come from drag racing, now we build these, and most of my customers don't. Drag race. Right. Some tapatio, right? There go, yeah. Now they're half mile cars, but this one's set up for, for, you know, you can't really hit them hard out the line. But. It went 890 on low boost. What's that to me? 570. So, but it'll do that on the street. He the light. The light. There's no way he could see it. Well, I don't know. He stepped at the light regardless. Yeah. And then right before he made that hit, I went to the car and I was like, yo, let me take power out. 
He's like, leave it, leave it, leave it. I was like, dude, let me take power out in a second. Did, 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 so what happened? Did he spin me? Oh, he should. He, fucking, he clicked second, the whole car got sideways on him. Oh, shit. Hey, bro, it, it's, it's bad. It's dusty. The, the road here is dusty. How'd you, how'd you come right Yeah, we're running good. Oh, you run it? Yeah. Are you running? Uh, so us and the guy we race is actually a long time friend of ours. The whole crew is cool, so we said we re rerun it. Uh, possibly with me just driving the car. Um, truth be told is they just got, so there's a small tire class and a big tire class, and we're in the small tire. And they just got through the small tire. So now they have to run the big tire, then they have to run the small tire, so uh, a chance, we're not going to re-race here, we'll just race it back another night. Right. <laughs> Let's see how much wheel slip you have when we click second. These are wheel speed sensors. You see that front and back? Just the moment he clicked second, it blew the fucking the rear tire off. So 41% slip. And we, the problem was that he's on the drag radial. So it's not like it blew the tire off and went straight. It threw the fucking whole car sideways. So you see that green line, it's TPS. So when it threw him sideways, he got out of the gas, TPS went closed. Car lost its momentum. He got back into it right there, laid into it, and then at this point, because he got off the gas, it's no longer in thrust mode, so it's not going to shift on its own. So then he bounced it off the limiter. You see that purple line? So right there, we're at 8,200 RPM, and then he kept it there and it bounced off the rim, and he just revved to 8,600. 80, so he just all that just bounced off the limiter because he forgot to shift. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm Modern hospitals, they got US Bank, right? They got Panda, they got Del Taco. It's like America. We're living in we're living in great times, you feel me? COVID what? COVID 19 who? <laughs> they got Guarmars. They got Guarmas. Happening, we missed you. Restaurant open May 14th. Fucking a cold fucking drinks. God damn it. Hallelujah. God bless Donald Trump. Is this a bar? Yeah. Oh, fuck. is it open? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah they got drinks. That's all we need. We need drinks. Baby. I got fucking drinks. How do we get them? Right there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I got water, my man. Can I get a double water? <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Another one! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, whose man's is this? <laughs> this guy Who brought this guy? <laughs> Who brought this guy? Hey, you guys notice when we pick them up, he starts really quiet. <laughs> then he gets to know everybody, he gets comfortable. He gets comfortable. Because this is him all the time with me. We're all alive and having a drink. That's all that matters. I was just vlogging about it on the way here, like about like you know when we go like my normal lifestyle. We are right? in a bar right now. I said, yeah, me and Nick make new deal. We want to go to you know, a bar. And our bits get bar. fucked up. So when I saw this place open, I busted it. You turned right. Oh, this, this is great. Yeah, because we were looking for the one, and then I looked behind me, and he was already found. Like, where did they go? They busted. So I was like, so he's like, just go back, turn around, go to the liquor store, and then he calls you, and you're like, Nick, I found a. Bar that's open. Get here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's more. Get more. Chip all the way. 